This is Face the Nation, broadcasting live from the CNN IBN headquarters in New Delhi with Sagarika Ghosh. That's right, it's 10 p.m. A very warm welcome to you. He was arrested on 31st January but released on bail just 48 hours later. Now, Sri Ram Sena Chief Pramod Muthalik is back to making inflammatory speeches against Western culture, saying he will not let young people celebrate Valentine's Day. But Bangalore's young people are determined that love will conquer narrow-mindedness. Valentine's Day, you are going to ban this. We are going to request this. In the same way, where you are going to ban hotel, और कॉलेज में उनको भी हम एक मेमोरेंडम देने वाले हैं बट दैट थ्रेट गिवन आफ्टर द श्रीराम सेना स्ट्रैटेजी मीटिंग इन बैंगलोर कुड वेल फॉल ऑन डेफ इयर्स फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ बैंगलोर शशांक एन अंकिता फॉर इंस्टेंस have started planning for the lovers season well in advance. I have my girlfriend standing here. Of course I would celebrate my Valentine's Day with her. It doesn't matter who does it. What they're doing is wrong. And we should have the guts to get up to it and do it. And of course, the season set in truly with most people shopping for that perfect card and the right gift. I'm not scared. but And there is nothing wrong about celebrating Valentine's Day. Spreading love is how we can shun differences between people. I don't think... Anybody should really be scared so much as to not celebrate it. And the government says it won't allow anyone to take the law into their own hands. We will protect the people. That is our duty bound. We will do it. A hundred and one reasons to love and a hundred and one ways to express that love. That's what Bangaloreans are trying to find, threat or no threat. Ten days to go for February 14th, but as of now, the lovers seem to be winning all the way in the battle against the self-styled Ram Sainik. In Bangalore, Deepa Balakrishnan. Lovers versus the Ram Senex. Now, Union Minister for Women and Child Development, Renuka Chaudhary, said that the Karnataka government must take strict action against Pramod Muthalik and the Sri Ram Sena. She says they are a lumpen and fascist group. Muthalik is not a married man. He wouldn't know what to do. That's his problem. He should learn how to uh, uh, respect uh, other genders and respect each other. Now, since he is not doing that, and he doesn't belong to a democratic process. Who is Ram Sena? They have no legitimacy and they have no identity. They are only recognized as anti-social lumpen element. And the Karnataka government should take cognizance of this. The police should provide protection and in a democracy that is what has to survive, not fascism. So our question of the day tonight is the law insufficient to deal with activists like Pramod Muthalik? Type QTD space Y for yes. QDD space N for no, SMS to 52622. And as you know, you can also vote online as well as express an opinion on IBNlive.com. And joining us tonight, we have Pramod Muthalik, Chief of the Sri Ram Sena, joining us. He's joining us, in fact, from Bangalore, right here in Anoida Studio, Ranjana Kumari, Director, Center for Social Research and Women's Rights Activist, and Pinky Anand, Lawyer of the Supreme Court, is also joining us. Let's get to the initial results now of our SMS poll. Is the law insufficient to deal with activists like Pramod Muthalik? Remember, he what he got he was arrested and was out on bail in just 48 hours. He was only booked under bailable offences, so he's out on bail very very quickly. What are you telling us at the start of the show? 60% are saying yes, 40% are saying no. The law is insufficient, says a big majority. Let's get into crossfire.